ladies and gentlemen, we got another video with hidden supercars, maybe a few abandoned supercars, and we have a very rare specimen here today, the Bolza Zoga car, one, I think the only one imported from Japan, don't know who the owner is, but it has not been driven in some months, it's been collecting a lot of dust, someone has written, I don't know if you guys can see that, I want my sheep ass, whoa, a little funky, with that be said, <sighs> the Bolza car, boys and girls, we do need to take this out a lot more, Wash me. Uh, oh, well, I'm not going to repeat that. That is a very offensive word. So, this car has not been started in a number of weeks. We got the portable charger right over here. Let's spool her up and hopefully, you don't wake any of the neighbors up or any car alarms. Here we go. Oh, geez. Alive and kicking. It's got a lot of dust. That being said, boys and girls, we got a pretty action packed video. A lot of supercars, hypercars, and a lot of garage spot and a couple abandoned cars, minus, of course, the Bosa car. This has been a top request for a lot of videos. We will get to it very soon. I'm going to fix the tire once and for all. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. That being said, Mr. Sheep, take it away, baby. Oh, yeah. If you're a long-term viewer of this channel, and if you're not, you better get to it. You better start watching those videos, putting them on repeat, a lot of playlists, okay? But that being said, I love doing these videos where I go around public garages checking out supercars, hypercars, a lot of secret hidden stuff, abandoned cars. And if you're a long-term viewer of this channel, you know that I thrive on craziness, randomness, surprises, and just general chaos, so to speak. I really appreciate it when you guys send me hot tips where we could find some pretty crazy stuff that really get the juices going. But check this out right over here. We got Alex Penfold's print that he sent me about like a year and a half ago right before COVID. And uh, it's finally hung up. We got Anthony Unofficial. He was like, listen, I'm going to get some nails, a hammer, bang it out, and boom. We got the M4 and we got the SVR looking pretty damn good off ACH. Hold on to your horses because before we go out and check out some of these crazy hypercars and supercars, we gotta talk about today's video sponsor and that is Raid Shadow Legends. Today's video is sponsored by none other than Raid Shadow Legends. They've worked with me in the past before. They're always happy to help support the channel and provide you guys with free content. Raid Shadow Legends is available on multi-platforms. We're talking PC. I have it on my Android tablet right over here and of course, the iPhone. There's over 500 champions to choose from and there's endless ways to customize them. These are my top five champions that I personally use. Cardinal, one of the best champions for end game arena offense. I also have the veteran, solid high defense and it's more of a specialist faction wars champion. We got the Taurus, great epic champion that has an insane poison rain. And of course we have Captain Timila, super versatile all around. Finally, we got Man Eater, great for end game raider and hits super hard with the pummel. These sacred shards give you the best summoning rates and are very valuable in the game. There are nearly a dozen ways to acquire these sacred shards, such as daily login rewards, arenas, events, dungeon challenges, and many more. This month, Raid has a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities. There's the special fusion events to get the brand new legendary champion, tournaments against other players, and much more. They just released five brand new champions as well. Download the game in the description box below. There's also the QR code on the upper left-hand corner. Once you scan my personal QR code, you get an epic hero, Shonaru, 200,000 silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard so it can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right up here in the upper right hand corner in the game where the inbox is. This exclusive offer is only available for the next 30 days and for new players only. It's an absolute no brainer. I'll see you guys in game. That being said, let's go find some cars. All right guys, let us know in the comments below exactly what we're looking at here. We, I, I don't think this is a demon. It's got the wheels though. I think it's missing some badging inside. We were here a couple weekends ago doing a little abandoned car spotting, a little uh, garage spotting of Los Angeles. Now guys, if you guys are enjoying that kind of content, let me know in the comments below. Uh, some of the views on some of those videos were a little not satisfactory, so to speak, because I don't know, I think we're, have, we're putting in a lot of work in these videos running around Los Angeles, going off tips, but this is really weird. Is this a soft top conversion? I don't know, but that being said, 
If you like this content, let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. But uh, let me know exactly what we're working with here. I think this is one of two that's popped up here in this garage that I covered, I think, three or four weeks ago. So, uh, And this is a wrap, too, you said, right? Yeah, you can tell by the front. It's peeling hard. Oh, yeah, you can see right here. What is this? Wait, look at this. What the hell? Did they just, like, glue this on or something? Or, like... Check out the W140, wait for it, to <laughs> S900. I know, that's strange. Do a new technique here, we're going to the fifth floor. Oh. You guys hear that? Fifth floor. God. Help us all. So the technique is that I'm gonna to go to some of these <laughs> garages to the top floor with a scooter. It's more accessible that way and it's easier to just slip in and out of. But uh, huh, wow, that's a pretty sketchy uh, elevator. I don't like that. Fortunately, I don't think we're gonna be finding anything here in this particular garage, but you never know. Not entirely a an abandoned supercar or a rare car at that, but we got a Huracan Evo Spider in green just chilling here never been to this garage it is another publicly accessible garage that's divided by i'm guessing monthly and visitor lots so hmm all right now what do we oh hold on a second i have spoken too soon i see a little something something right over there now what do we have over there that looks a little dusty hold on zoom 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 Hmm, not bad. Check with this old Bentley here. Whoa. I'm not sure that's really a band or not, but man. Okay. We are going in into uncharted territories here. This is a parking garage that we drive past all the time and never even bother to look underneath, which is really bizarre, but oh, what do we have here? Hold on a second. There's some secrets around these parts. Whoa. Um. Hold on just a second, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Let's take a look real quick. Check out the Ford Bronco. And we got a G-Wagon Cabriolet. Look at that. That is pretty dope. Not bad. We got a Cayenne Turbo. No big deal. Jack XK8. And what's interesting over here, we got the Escalades and the G-Wagon murdered out. Criminal spec. Got an old Porsche. Uh, not really sure what this is. It just says QP. I'm guessing maybe an old Quattroporte. I could be completely wrong. And we got a Berto X1-9. As you can tell by the car cover. I think this looks like a BMW Z8. That's my guess. And then this one says Ferrari 365 GT4 2x2. I think that was for like 60 to 100 grand. So very eclectic, weird cars here. We got this thing rolled over here on Montana plates. The Lamb Truck, AMG GT, C or I don't know, Rolls, Range, Escalade, Huracan, California. That looks like a lowrider. That is 100% a lowrider and a 488 right next to it. What a combination. We got a bunch of R129s here. No way. More over here. Hold on a second. Let's park up and take a quick look. This is pretty dope. Two SL600s here. Side by side, no way. That's pretty awesome. Just checking up on one of the old garages around here. I think that's an Aston Martin. I'm guessing a DB11 or a Rapide. You guys let me know in the comments below. We got the abandoned Dusty 8 Series. We got the Mercy Lago Coupe LP640 and a CLK63 Black Series. Wait a second. Do we see this car out yesterday? I think this is the same one that we saw the other day. I just didn't film it, but yeah. Nice little find here. Nice little trio of cars. Which one would you take? Look at this Volvo. Max, what kind of Aston Martin are we looking at here? I think it's a DBS. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. 
It'd be a VA though. Vantage or something. And of course, the classic Mercedes. Interesting set of cars here, huh? Another one of Los Angeles's extremely vast and vacant parking lots due to COVID-19 and God knows what else. A lot of lost business at commercial buildings, but that's not a bad set of cars. That Volvo is really nice. We're back here in one of the garages here. Looks like some of the cars have gotten boots and notices for no overnight parking. That's not good, man. We've got a Bugatti Pure Sport under a cover. Pretty sick. And then we've got the Mansory Veyron. That belongs to wires only, I think. Oh, some new stuff here every single day. Let's take a look. Senna. Oh, look, it's the Chrome P1 that used to be owned by Sam Lee, I think. I think that's the one, yeah? Interesting. Boom. 765LT, all right, SLR. Senna without a wing, interesting. Integrale, Lancia. Oh, it's a 63 edition. What's over there? There's some secrets down here, boy. P1, speed tail. Hmm. Standard Rolly got the dusty McLarens over there, but check out the wheels. That's so sick. We need that style of wheels on the Toyota Century. Can you guys imagine? A little VIP style? Whoa. What brand are those? Let me know in the comments below. You know what? I'm getting out of the car. I gotta take a look. What in the hell? They're shiny. Potential mod for the Toyota Century with the $18,000 exhaust. Oh yeah, Brandon, look, there's a Gallardo in there. And then we got an Aventador on a curb, sidewalk, couple of Benzes. There's stuff everywhere around here. Check out the Cole Lee, pink. Some girl driving it too. RDB plate frame. Wow, and we got the AMR Rapide. Yes. Right over here. Now we are rolling. That's wow. The, it's the right spec too. That is the right spec. I think that is the launch spec. Day, we got an H1 Hummer military spec. We got a frozen red M5. Is that the launch edition? I can't tell. Beautiful. Yeah. A little Rapide there. Not bad. Damn, music videos, dude. They got the light. Hell yeah. Damn. They got, they set up a light on Rodeo Drive. Holy, and look at this guy here. It's got Tron. Whoa. That's a, that's a setup right there. That's a setup right there. I like it. I am liking it. Guys, what do we talk about? Moving a lot out of Los Angeles? Throw that idea right out the fucking window, baby. And then we got meanest looking AMG GT in all of Los Angeles. Guys, check out this center mounted exhaust on this Huracan. One of one from Voodoo Motorsport from our good buddy Sterling. It's a little loud. Jesus Christ almighty. the Aventador and we got a purple LP640 what dealer place dealer place that is I don't think I've ever seen that in my entire life aftermarket wheels that is funky it's like ADV ones. ones we got the ye yellow lamb truck and we got the Roly. okay did we watch Indiana Jones oh man there's a scene at the end one of them where there's like a warehouse just full of like boxes and hidden artifacts and everything. It's an Indiana Jones warehouse vibes. Look at that. That's ridiculous. This is the public garage, believe it or not, guys. The Gonda in matte black with a saber. It's like a chameleon color. Carbon fiber hood. Acid green calipers. 
What in the good Lord's name? Some secrets hiding around here in Los Angeles. Look at this saber, sheer on exposed carbon fiber. That weave is impeccable. Got two Senas, one's an XB edition. Got a Veyron test right over here. Man, not bad indeed. Are they gonna leap it? Are they gonna leap the Veyron? Are they true car aficionados? Ladies and gentlemen, not even a side glance, no side eye for the Bugatti Veyron. That sucks. Boom. There you guys have it. And that's all you're, you're going to get. HREs. HREs, indeed. 